aboard. June 17th, uh, Sunday morning, a little after sunrise, starting up the American Discovery Trail. My plan is to hike from here to this little uh, split, hike the northern route around to Denver, then the southern route back to uh, Indiana, then uh, catch a bus or train to Denver, to San Francisco. This will probably take about 12 months, so uh, <laughs> it's one of the biggest undertakings I've ever done as far as hiking goes. But uh, looking forward to this trip. Let's discover America. tell you what I tell all of my favorite customers, take a hike. It's amazing. Uh, stopped here just for a break. And a car pulls up with three people, three little kids and their mom. They brought me a brownie, grapes, fruit, and a cold drink. This trail's amazing so far. Hi, I'm Lydia, and this is Ethan. And where are we from? Mountain Delaware. It's the best way to see America, is on your two feet. I'm absolutely blown away. I'm walking through this section of Delaware, this is still the first day. People just drive by me and hand me a bottle of ice cold water. And it's great because this is one of the hottest days ever. People here are amazing. This is day one and I've had three different bits of trail magic. Amazing. Not only that, but you go from the beach to the wheat and cornfields to the countryside. I'm loving this trip so far. This is great. Day one. Outstanding. Woohoo! Nice. Too much. Hi, my name is Dick Bratton. I live in Colorado and I'm the Colorado coordinator for the American Discovery Trail, which is a pleasure because I help cross country hikers like Mike Daniel Lion King to get across our beautiful state. He's the, going to be the first one to do 6,800 miles the entire ADT. And my job is to make sure that our hikers are monitored all the way across the nation, to give them assistance and help them navigate across this wonderful country. And Mike will tell you the best part of the country is not the scene, scenery, it's the people you meet. This uh, CNO Canal, it's the Cumberland in Ohio. Is that right? Nope. <laughs> All right, this is the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal. It connects the Chesapeake Bay with the Ohio Valley. So this locking system was to help barges from all the, the fertile plains out west of here to get their produce all the way back into the D.C. area and to market so they could go overseas and be sold in, in Europe or wherever. But the, the what behind me is this lock, and so the barges would come down. They would be 
total on the path. That's why this is the path that we're traveling right now is called the tow path. And mules and uh, other workers would help the would tow the, the paths along. They throw ropes out of the barges off to the side of the path and pull the barges down the river. Well, this is a lock keeper's house. The lock keeper would live here with his family as part of his payment. He would part of his payment would be that he'd have the plot of land and that he'd get a monthly salary. And the uh, his job was to come out whenever a barge would come through, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, and, and operate the lock so that the barge could move on to the next level. Leaving West Virginia, heading to Ohio on the uh, Belfry Bridge, crossing over the Ohio River. Beautiful day, entering a brand new state, looking forward to it, new adventures. Yeah, I'm at uh, Burr State Park out by the lake. Um, a little warm today. No uh, soda machine down here by uh, Dock 3, which I was hoping as we passed by it. Uh, beautiful day, but uh, little to no uh, drinking. Don't feel my back. <laughs> It'd be great if that thing ran right now with a fishing rod. If it does, you need to stick around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stay here with the We're fishing pole. tie you down. <laughs> You're good luck. I was saying a little while ago how there was no Coke machine here, and I didn't know where one was, but I lucked out, met these fine folks, and uh, they gave me a Coke, and I've been sitting in the shade now before I finish off the day. Um, it's been good watching them fish, hoping uh, something big runs off with a rod. Spending a happy weekend camping at Burroughs. Crowded gathered in the meadow There was music in the wind I heard the voices high and lonesome I heard the rippling mandolin You were lying on a blanket All alone there on the grass from the moment I first saw you. All right, feeling pretty good after a swim in Bear Oak uh, Lake Reservoir. Uh, beautiful morning. Man, so much better than it has been. I noticed my mood has improved as the temperature has dropped. Um, and we're back in the woods on trails, not road walking the last couple of days. Been fantastic. Made up for me being upset about the uh, lack of proper trail markings in a couple of places. But a uh, beautiful swim, beautiful day. Moving on. Ohio's been good so far. Enjoying it, man. We held each other through the evening Underneath the summer sky The love was pure as mountain music My name is Staff Sergeant Will Sauter with the 412 Civil Affairs Battalion out of Columbus, Ohio. We're here in Hocking Hills um, State Forest doing some mountaineering, rappelling and rock climbing and learning how to set up systems and, and enjoy it and do it safely. Chances of finding a girl like you Once in a bluegrass moon Hocking Hill State Park. So you can see this thing is gigantic behind me. A couple of caves that go through the rocks. This is right on the American Discovery Trail. Uh, just went into the lodge and ate a huge buffet. Uh, and I'm not really feeling like hiking. We drove up from, like I said, Cleveland, and uh, we're campers from way back. And this scenery is absolutely beautiful. And we certainly hope that uh, we share this with friends and come on back again with a group of people because uh, it is a great experience.
Uh, the name is John and Amy Gooch. We're from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Here we are, what seems like out in the middle of nowhere on 664 in uh, Hocking Hills, Ohio. And we come upon another free spirit and brother who's uh, walking the trails where we like to ride the trails. We ride motorcycles. We just enjoy the freedom that God's given us and uh, the blessings that come with it. And uh, as we do it, here we come upon this man who's walking along and kindred spirits. Love it. That God is good. Amen. Amen. Uh, Bob and Jane Klein. We live on Wildcat in Ohio on the uh, American Discovery Trail. We saw Mike today on the, on the trail and said come on down and we've just been having a great time talking to him and seeing what his uh, adventure is and what he has planned. All right. I like to give the hikers when they come by something special to um, just perk them up on their trip and it's got a message from us, a personal message. and. We just like to talk to the hikers and hear their story and hopefully we'll hear more back from them and hear where their journey took them. So it's exciting for us too. I walked for about 35, 40 minutes. Um, just just took a chance on a trail and it, after climbing for a good 50 minutes, I found a blue blaze out of nowhere, just uh, on a tree. No blazes for a good 20 minutes up a climb, but all of a sudden they're everywhere again. So. And you get to see neat stuff like this too. Beautiful old houses out in the woods. All right, I am in Batavia, Ohio. Uh, a friend of mine lives in this town, Carmen, who I knew from the Appalachian Trail in 2003. But the trail runs right here in front of the store. And uh, as I'm walking by, the owner's calling me over like, hey, you want a cold drink? And uh, there's a patron trail angel here in town that every hiker that comes through, they uh, buy them lunch and a coffee. Don't know who it is, but thank you, whoever you are, trail angel. Now it's time to go in and meet these fine folks. Well, we're Grace and Jamie Kenner from Riverside Coffee Mill in Batavia, Ohio. We have a coffee shop here. We also offer food for the hikers. We, along with a friend of ours, Rob Portis of Amelia, Ohio, provide hikers a place to stop, get something to eat or drink on us. What do you think? We have good coffee, we have good food, lots of salads, and on the weekends, we do waffles, Belgian waffles made to order. What did you say? Huh? Oh, and it's air conditioned. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> so we invite all the hikers to come in and cool off and get something to eat before you continue on your way. And the food is free. That's right. All right, we're in Cincinnati. Um, obviously, big city, a lot different than what we've been hiking on. Sounds of a city. <laughs> um, getting ready to cross the pedestrian walkway here and uh, head on down to the uh, river and get some good shots down there, I hope. Okay, we're in Elizabethtown, Ohio. Very crucial point in the trail. Uh, this is where the trail splits and goes to the northern route and the southern route. And uh, right now, I'm gonna begin the northern route, which now goes from here all the way to Denver. And then I'm gonna try to come back here in the winter months, back from Denver to this very spot. Um, crazy, yeah, right? Yeah, I know. All right, we're in uh, Oxford, Ohio, home of uh, Miami University. About to head out there right now. A lot of uh, students out on the uh, green doing their uh, dances and songs, so maybe we'll see some beautiful uh, Oxford, Miami University women. That's the hope. Hi, I'm Gourmet Dave. I'm the gathering coordinator for the 26th annual gathering of long distance hikers that we've held here at uh, Gettysburg College in beautiful Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. This is by far the uh, premier long distance hiking event in the world. Uh, there's more miles and knowledge found here at uh, this particular gathering than uh, any one place at one time anywhere. Uh, we hold this event every year. Uh, usually Columbus Day weekend. It's uh, held uh, different places along the trail. Oh, the days are getting shorter. 
and the leaves begin to fall. A pack is hung up on the wall till springtime comes to call. Time to head out to the gathering, all my friends out there to see. Folks to walk their talk and live their dreams, and they all inspire me. Come along with me to the gathering again to see my friends of the trail and my trail of friends. Let's try that chorus again. Come along with me to the gathering again. Well, the gathering's over. Now I got the long ride back to Columbus, back to Dayton. And back to Muncie, so two days probably still before I'm back on the trail. Good time here at Gettysburg College for Alder, though. I'm leaving with Redneck Rye. Hey, what's going on? How's your gathering? The gathering was good. The gathering was good, yeah. Seeing friends, getting inspiration for new trips, hanging out, having a good time. Tired as usual, not looking forward to the drive home, but yeah, we'll get there. So, where are we going? Columbus, Ohio. Yay. Back to the Casa de Redneck. <laughs> On top, a little round top here, the uh, memorial to uh, Colonel Patrick O'Rourke. It's good luck to rub his nose. All right, just crossed into Indiana. Thank God I'm out of Ohio. Um, God bless Ohio. It's a good state to be in, but I'm glad I'm out. Uh, now heading into Indiana through Richmond. Uh, stop in, get some food. Days turn out nice after two days of rain. Indiana, baby. Hi, my name is John Fugate, and I'm the director of special projects here at the Circus Hall of Fame. And I guess this is a special project. Uh, the Circus Hall of Fame is open from the uh, 1st of May through October, the last day of October. During the month of July, we have three weeks of performance season where we have an old-fashioned big top circus that lasts about two hours. We also have elephant rides and pony rides. And you get an opportunity to go through the museum uh, then, as well as the rest of the year. And this is called a callop? Ca Calliope. Calliope? Calliope. Calliope? <laughs> we call it Calliope in Georgia. <laughs> and it's like a player piano. Mm -hmm. And so this mechanism in here, how old is this thing? Oh, wow. Probably from the 20s or teens. Really? Yeah. Wow. All right, now we get a traditional uh, circus music from a 1910 Calliope? Calliope. <laughs> Calliope. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I'm Cam Cooper, and uh, my great-grandpa was Clyde Beatty, the wild animal trainer with Lions and Tigers, and uh, they wintered here during their uh, performing and stuff. Uh, so, and then the circus building was built in my family for, I think, four generations now has been involved in that. And uh, it's just a constant family thing. I plan on having my kids in it someday, too.
right there. Uh, actually, a couple of tornadoes just west of here right now. We're sitting it out, and uh, it rained for a bit. Now it's uh, just rolling in. So maybe we'll get a good show with uh, some crazy weather here soon. Pretty sweet camping spot here at uh, Mitchell Woods. Had gigantic barges going by last night. I mean, some of the biggest boats I've seen. Massive, but uh, wow. October 26th and a day like this, man. Short sleeve weather. Hunters are shooting their guns around here, but uh, still, wow. What a beautiful spot. All right, we just passed the uh, Chicago suburb of Joliet to connect with the I&M Canal towpath, which is the uh, Illinois and Michigan Canal. Uh, gotta love uh, Illinois just for the simple fact that they got a lot of towpaths to walk, which is nice. Get you off the main roads. All right, we got a little trail wash out here. Not much, but just a little piece of trail gone. No big deal. I am now at the uh, Hennepin Canal in uh, Bureau, starting now. It's uh, for the next 60 miles we follow this canal. Uh, it's a lot like the CNO and the INN Canal, uh, but as a celebration of being here, check this out. Woohoo! It's a box of love. Somebody sent me some goodies, uh, my buddy Mark, last minute. So if you love me, or even if you don't, feel free to uh, email me and ask me for my uh, address. You can send me a box full of snacks, baby. Good times. Hennepin Canal was uh, dug, hand dug. In the Hennepin Canal was hand dug between 1890 and 1907. The Hennepin Canal supplied a direct water route between Chicago. <laughs> the Hennepin Canal. Uh, it's now a state run, uh, state park, and uh, it was originally named after Father Hennepin, who was a, a missionary with the Native Americans for this uh, stretch of land. So here we go, onward, forward on Halloween. <laughs> I got my new shoes in, so we're gonna do a shoe comparison here. <laughs> Take a look at the uh, ones I've been hiking on for 600 miles. 